I'm not resigning. I am an elected official, elected by the people of this county that represents change. San Mateo County Sheriff Christina Corpus fiercely responding to allegations made against her in a newly released 400-page independent report. This is a hatchet job of an inquiry which was commissioned with a predetermined outcome in mind and it was filled with lies. The investigation was prompted by complaints from sheriff's office staff. Among other things, the resulting report accuses the sheriff of abuse of power, using intimidation and retaliation tactics, as well as having an inappropriate personal relationship with her chief of staff. It also alleges the sheriff used racist and homophobic language. All charges the sheriff denies. These are people who have a vendetta against me. I am disgusted at how low these people will go. But members of the county's board of supervisors believe it's the sheriff who's lying. During a news conference Tuesday afternoon, Supervisors Noelia Corzo and Ray Mueller called on the sheriff to resign immediately. It's clear that we have a sheriff that we cannot trust. This independent investigation lays out the reasons. Earlier in the day, the sheriff's department arrested Carlos Tapia, the president of the Deputy Sheriff's Association Union, on two separate charges. Tapia is one of many deputies who has criticized the sheriff and her office. I will not be intimidated by our sheriff. I will not tolerate the sheriff's abuse of our authority and retaliation, retaliation against our union. While the process plays out, several San Mateo County community organizers worry it's the people of the county who will suffer the most. That includes Jim Lawrence of Fix in San Mateo County, a group specifically focused on police oversight and transparency. Well, San Mateo County is one of the safest counties, you know, there is, because we believe in our law enforcement. We trust them. There was transparency. You know, there was that relationship that we could depend on. That's destroyed in one day, in one report. While the Board of Supervisors cannot fire the sheriff, they say they will consider what steps can be taken at a meeting on Wednesday. In Redwood City, Tim Johns, ABC7 News.